Boy, is warning New York is just the start of a domino effect in the United States. She joins us now. And Betsy, let's first talk about what politicians don't talk and want to talk about, corruption. The, the corruption in this state, and I dare say in Illinois, in California, and practically any other state's heavy problems, is enormous because the bureaucracy has grown so big. And you come out with figures like New York ranks bottom in all 50 states in the condition of its roads and bridges, despite spending $400,000 per mile, and the average is $100,000 per mile. So, I mean, obviously there's feather bedding, there's corruption, there's a lot of stuff that yes, needs to be Yes, dysfunctional work rules, all kinds of things that contribute to enormous costs in New York State. But let's face it, New York taxpayers, New York residents are really prisoners of the state lawmakers and the state workers, 93% of whom are unionized. And these two groups together, the lawmakers who set the rules and the employees, uh, agree to spend more and more every year, and the taxpayers end up forced to pay for it. And what's happened is, now that revenues have declined in the wake of the economic recession, the lawmakers in Albany simply s refused to cut back on spending. It's as if any of us had to get a job at a lower salary and refused to and alter our everywhere. lifestyle. It's right. happening everywhere, Other states every state. As well. But, right. well, particularly in some states, New York has a very big shortfall. It was $8.5 billion last year. It's up to about $9.2 billion this year. Uh, California, $19 billion in the hole. Illinois, $13 billion in the hole. Even the little guys, Rhode Island's a mess as well. That's right. Well, in so many states, the lawmakers have become addicts. They are addicted to spending regardless of the best interests of the state. And that's what's happened here in New York. And it's got to be fixed at the ballot box. There is fear that, that municipal bonds may start to, I mean, dare I say default? Do well, you, you I think, think that's a little hasty. Uh, in fact, the credit ratings haven't changed much. As you know, New York is not at the bottom anymore. California and Illinois have lower credit ratings. Even states with very good credit ratings, like Missouri, are in a cash crunch right now but because when I hear the word revenues credit, are when so I hear much the phrase, under what was expected. Credit ratings, I want to reach for my gun after what That's they right. did with the but subprimes and everything. Let's I mean, anticipate what's going to happen in New York and other states right away. Taxpayers who are expecting refunds aren't going to get them. Businesses that do business with the state, whether they sell textbooks or food to prisons, they're not going to get paid. State workers at some point aren't going to get their paychecks and ultimately could even affect home values. Yes or no, will the state shut down? Will the state workers shut down? In some ways, it's going to have to shut down. That's right. Uh, let's bring in the bulls and bears as Betsy stays with us in this discussion. Matt. Well, <laughs> it's kind of scary to think that Monday or Tuesday evening, I think it is, uh, New York government could shut down. And, you know, they want to get through right now a $350 million tax cuts just to get them through, uh, you know, the next phase. The Republicans want $750 million. We need to do a lot more. Betsy just said $9.2 billion. So we're not even.